Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. Today, as you might have already guessed, we're doing yet another puzzle haul. This time it's for the month of February and we have here quite a lot of puzzles. This might even be the biggest haul yet. I'm not too sure, I've kind of lost track by now, um, but it's definitely one of the bigger ones. And we have a lot of different brands and it's actually quite a bright colorful haul so yeah i'm pretty excited to go through all these with you uh, i think we've got a lot of fun puzzles here to look at so why not grab yourself a drink a snack get comfy and let's go through them all together so just like normal i've sort of put piles together based on where i got the puzzles from um, this time though i've got two large piles of puzzles that all came from Amazon. I don't know why, but uh, this month we just seem to have lots of stuff from Amazon. So, uh, so let's just go through the first pile. Um, so, instead of starting with the uh, Buffalo Games, we'll start with these couple here, which actually came as a set, and they were really inexpensive, and they just caught my eye. They looked really fun. So, these are both 500 piece, and let's see, they're from Cardinal, but also. Um, uh, what's it called? Spin Master Games. I, I'm not really sure. I guess like Spin Master owns Cardinal. I'm not too too sure. But this one's called Dreaming Girl. And yeah, it's just a really uh, nice illustration of like these sort of two girls just, or maybe three actually, because we've got a, on the back we've got a hand here with a coffee mug. But yeah, just sort of some people gathering together, eating dessert and drinking coffee and looking very relaxed and yeah I really like the colors in it very bright and colorful and yeah just really a pretty illustration I don't often uh, get a lot of puzzles with sort of people in them like I prefer puzzles of things or like gradients and things like that so this is a little bit more unusual for me but um, I just thought it was really nice like even like her makeup and hair and like what she's wearing or what they're all wearing it's really it's actually quite colorful and very pretty so yeah so I think that one's pretty cool and yeah this is sort of I guess by the same artist and even looks like it might be sort of a section of the same scene maybe where it's like on the back I can see all these hands reaching for like you know donuts and sweets and coffee and stuff so this one's called coffee time um, yeah so also yeah same style also very pretty and colorful so yeah, I just thought those two are really cool and yeah I hadn't really seen um, that before where these two puzzles like where you get like a sort of set of puzzles um, yeah they were like all shrink wrapped together and it was a very like inexpensive price so I have no idea what the quality of Cardinal is like um, so yeah I'm really interested to do these sometime and try them out so next up let's do the Buffalo game so I got this cute little 300 piece I saw someone with this one on Instagram and I just thought it was really pretty and it's called Lunarly Lunarly the 12 moons and yeah it's basically these sort of 12 scenes of sort of different interpretations of moon images like so you know you've got like a wolf here I guess howling and the moon looks like a strawberry in this one um, what else have you got? Oh, sort of like a space moon, just sort of all different like scenes of the moon from different worlds and like in different themes. I don't know, it's kind of quite unusual and quite different. I've never really seen anything like this before, but I really love the colors. Like they're very, very pretty, this sort of purples and pinks and teals. So yeah, and just a nice little 300 piece. So that could be good for puzzle battle or just doing a relaxing puzzle in a short period of time. So yeah, this one looks really pretty. And what else have we got? Oh, well, of course we have a cat puzzle. Uh, one of quite a few in this uh, month's haul. So this one is again, part of the Buffalo Cat series, 750 pieces. And this one's just called Cat's Fantasy. And it's a, quite a busy sort of detailed image. It's basically the sort of uh, open windows so you can sort of see into these rooms and the outside is just 
it's got all these cats sort of in on the windowsills in the windows in like the garden um, like sort of in front of the windowsills and admiring these birds in this birdhouse here but I just thought the colors were really pretty and it was just sort of a really uh, cute sort of whimsical light-hearted image and yeah yeah like I said the colors I feel like are quite kind of rich and almost a little bit sunset with the sort of orange and pinkies and reds and things in here so yeah I just thought that's a really nice one um, I still have so many of these to do so one day I'm gonna have to go on a bit of a cat puzzle marathon I think um, but you know definitely love having these in my collection and then oh, so many choices so we have this one which is Amy an Amy Stewart one 1000 pieces called coloring days and I believe this was actually released um, quite a while ago as a Ravensburger but is only recently being released as a Buffalo Games and I was never able to get the Ravensburger one so I'm super happy that I could get a hold of this one um, I mean, I'd probably prefer the Ravensburger one, to be honest, but I'm just happy to get it because it's just such a nice image. Um, so yeah, basically it's sort of looks like you're sort of like got a bit of a view of someone's like coloring, drawing art table. And it's just got all these like colorful, I guess, mandala type designs and people the, and a coffee with colorful macarons and all the different sort of um, coloring in and painting kind of paraphernalia and supplies like colored pencils and like textures and paints but yeah it's it's very pretty it's got like a lot of detail as is usually the case with Amy Stewart um, yeah it's just a really lovely puzzle so definitely glad I managed to get this one in my collection and then the last Buffalo Games one is a really beautiful one so this is 1000 piece and it's I guess part of the contemporary art series and it's by the artist called how do you how do you I always have trouble saying this how do you Morita and this one's called Hana Fubuki so I already have a lot by this artist but actually most of the ones I have from this artist are Eurographics um, I think I've got maybe a Ravensburger and like a bits and pieces one as well but I think this is the first time I've seen this artist's work in Buffalo Games so uh, yeah, this is a really beautiful image, so detailed. Um, probably it's going to be really difficult to do because it's got so many of these blossoms and it's just so much going on, but it's very, very pretty. I, I mean, I, how could I not get this one? So yeah, definitely looking forward to this one. Again, like the cat ones, I have a lot of this artist's work in my collection and I haven't done that many of them, so I need to get a move on and have a marathon of these I think so yeah anyway moving on so now we have ooh, what have we got we've got a few Ravensburger ones here oh actually here we go so this is a reasonably new Ravensburger puzzle I believe and it's just a 200 piece which is probably one of the lowest piece counts I own um, apart from like wooden puzzles and stuff like that this one's called cat eye and this seems to be sort of like a new, they have like a few in this range and it seems to be a sort of new series, like they've called it uh, like relax, enjoy, and this one's supposed to only take 40 minutes. So I think the idea is they're meant to be just very quick little puzzles that maybe you could have, you know, in your break room at work or just quickly do in between doing things at home. Um, so there, there's a few in this sort of series that are 200, 300 piece count. But yeah, I just thought this was a really beautiful one. Like I, yeah, it's a cat, win. Um, but yeah, just all the beautiful sort of watercolor kind of flowers and the colors are really pretty and a little butterfly. And yeah, so even though I rarely get such low piece counts, I just thought, well, I couldn't resist this one. I just thought it was really nice and it wasn't too expensive either. So yeah, grabbed it. So interesting to see if the sort of piece quality is the same as like Ravensburger's other puzzles um, and yeah this is the lowest piece count of, oh no actually I lie I do have a couple of like kids 100 piece from Ravensburger so uh, yeah but I guess this is the lowest sort of piece count I have that's like an adult sort of puzzle so yeah very interesting to try this series and then I've got another couple 
of smaller piece counts from Ravensburger. There's this 500 piece one called uh, Maritime Flare. And I just really like this one. I know it's not as bright and colorful and rainbow as a lot of my other sort of puzzles, but I sort of like the kind of whimsical nature of this sort of pretty little like nautical kind of collage scene. Like I just thought, yeah, it's just sort of a fun little quirky scene and just got all these like naval maritime things like a little seafood shop, boats, shells, rope, a lighthouse, even like I think a cheese. Um, yeah, like I just quite like the sort of style of it. Very pretty and yeah, yeah, very whimsical. So uh, yeah, I think that would make for a nice 500 piece. And then another one that's a 500 piece from Ravensburg that is very me. Um, is a fairly recent one as well, also from Amy Stewart. This one's called Perfect Peace. And yeah, yeah, Amy Stewart. Um, so it's really very pretty. Um, features this lovely ginger kitty having curled up, having a nap. And then it's got all these sort of like some crystals and candles, succulents, um, flowers, sort of book with like flower drawings in it. It's sort of, yeah, it's just really pretty for beautiful, rich colors. Um, yeah, I really like this one. I think it's, yeah, just a really nice puzzle. I feel like it reminds me of um, a couple of her other puzzles under Buffalo Games. So there's like, I think, Happy Vibes and Good Vibes, I think they're both called. And they have very similar feel. Like one of them has like a lot of crystals and the other one has succulents and terrariums and things like that. So they, yeah, sort of very similar feel to those. Um, yeah, but really, yeah, really like this one. I think this is definitely going to be one of my favorites for sure. And then I've got a couple of colorful ones to go. So this next Ravensburger, I am extremely excited to get my hands on this one. Um, this one is Shadows and it's quite a, I think it came out 2018. So it's been out for a little while, but this is basically as soon as I saw this one, it became my unicorn puzzle, the, you know, very hard to get, almost unattainable puzzle. And I, I've been watching it on my Amazon wishlist for ages and it's always been a like ridiculous exorbitant price, but it finally came down to a reasonable price. So I snatched it up. Unfortunately, it did get a bit beaten up, but at least that's just only this one corner of the box. So as disappointing as that is, I feel like I can, when I open it up, I can probably sort of, you know, fix it a little bit punch out the cardboard a bit. Um, but I'm just really glad to have this one in my collection. I don't know, I just, I really enjoy kind of collecting eyeshadows as well as puzzles and lots of other things. But, um, so this one kind of really appeals to me because of the sort of two worlds colliding. Um, but also it's just a very simple, pretty puzzle with like these sort of colorful eyeshadow shades and yeah, just really lovely. So very very excited to have this one and then the last one from this pile is another one i've been eyeing off for a while um, and it's this beautiful schmidt puzzle and let me see if i can find out the name of it it's a 1000 piece and it is called nope it's not going to tell me ah. it's called colors of the rainbow and it says it's by Lars Stewart, which is interesting. I mean, I suppose it is, but when I first saw it, I just assumed it was like a Shelley Davies because it really has that look and feel. But it says it's Lars Stewart, so I'm going to take its word for it. Um, but either way, it's a beautiful puzzle. It's basically this lovely rainbow collage of all these sort of different found objects. And um, yeah, it's just really pretty. And I think it would just be a fun gradient to do. Uh, so excited to get my hands on this one. Um, yeah, it just has really fun, cute details, like lots of buttons and odds and ends and yeah, really, yeah, really cute things. So I think that one will be pretty easy to put together, but quite fun as well. So that's it from that giant pile of Amazon puzzles. So let's now move on to the next Amazon pile. So let's go through this second pile of stuff from Amazon. So first up we have this 
super adorable uh, genuine Fred puzzle. Uh, this one is called, I don't know, uh, Kingdom of Happy Joy. Oh, it even says it on the front actually. But yeah, it's super, super cute and pastel. And what's it got? It's sort of got all these like, it's got these kids marching along with these like funny little creatures. Like there's like a squid or octopus and some sort of bear and a rabbit and a deer and a maybe a cat or something. I don't know, but it's got all these sort of really obscure, like kind of, it's almost like the kids are playing and all their toys came to life or something like that. And they're having a little happy parade. It's really cute and kind of quirky and weird. Um, yeah, and the way it's done is like a very sort of vintage style, it feels like. Almost a little bit like a sort of vintage propaganda poster or something like that, but all pastel and pretty and cute, but still very yeah quirky because there's even here like a centipede or something carrying like a box of things like food and things on its back. So it's got some very like weird details, but I don't know, very cute at the same time. So yeah, definitely looking forward to this one. Uh, quite an unusual piece in my collection, but uh, yeah, I just love all the pastel colors and the, the weird things going on. And then next up we have, so the next two I have a kind of interesting. There it says Good Puzzle Co is the brand, but it's actually like part of Gallison. So it seems to be sort of like maybe like a Gallison sub brand. Um, definitely sure it says, oh yeah, Good Puzzle Co by Gallison. And it says, good for you and the planet too. Puzzle grey board and packaging made responsibly from FC, uh, FSC certified material. Um, so yeah, percentage of proceeds go to environmental non-profit. So yeah, I guess this whole thing's supposed to be a bit more environmentally friendly, a bit more sustainable, that sort of thing. And these were like a lot uh, more affordable than a lot of Gallison puzzles usually are. Like I don't know about in the US, but here in Australia trying to buy a Gallison, they usually quite highly priced. So these were like a lot less expensive. Um, anyway, these two are clearly like by the same artist and sort of series. So this, they're both 500 piece and a square. And this one is called Cats and Flowers. So obviously I had to get it. And it just features, uh, yeah, like nine squares. Each one's got a different cute kitty and a little, I guess, in amongst some flowers and plants. So yeah, just a very simple and pretty puzzle. Very cute. Um, yeah, and the kitties look very like, very pleased with themselves, very happy. And yeah, so I'm really excited to try this brand and see what the quality's like and see how different it is to sort of other Gullison puzzles I've done. Um, yeah, especially, you know, like I hope it's good quality, especially for like the low price, like that. that's exciting that it's sort of like, very affordable and really with cute designs and yeah I think there was like a couple I didn't see too many others um, like other designs in this brand so I think it's quite new um, but yeah I'm excited to sort of see what other designs they're going to put out so the other one I grabbed is pretty much the same thing but cute little doggos and it's called dogs and flowers and yeah same thing each square has like cute little dog in it just looking very, yeah, chillin', happy, very cute. I'm not really a dog person, but you know, if I see a very cute dog puzzle, I, you know, have to get it. I can, you know, I can get into that. Yeah, so yeah, really, really pretty as well. Yeah, the illustration style is really nice. So yeah, I really hope these are good quality to match the super cute illustrations. And then next up, speaking of more Gallison, that's what we have here. So this one, I think it's quite new. It's a 500 piece and it's called At The Table. And you can probably guess why I grabbed it. It's just super colorful and bright and fun. And yeah, just a really pretty um, table setting scene, really. Like just food and flowers and got a candle burning and a fruit bowl and everything looks very lively. The, way it's illustrated has all these sort of little squiggly lines around it. So it almost looks like things are a bit alive and moving. It's quite almost a bit animated in a way. 
Um, but yeah, I, I love the colors. Um, so yeah, pretty simple, but I, yeah, looking forward to this one. I think it's gonna be really fun to put together. Probably pretty easy because it's got these nice chunks of sort of bold colors and patterns and things. So yeah, that should be fun to do. And then I grabbed another, I guess, I think it's a fairly new Gallison design as well called Pajama Mamas. And this one's 1000 pieces. And yeah, I just really like the colors in this one. Um, like I said, I don't often go for sort of puzzles with lots of people in it. I, I don't know, I don't always like the way people are drawn in puzzles, um, but I quite like this one because they're a bit more sort of stylized and abstract and simplistic. So um, yeah, I, I kind of like it, but yeah, basically it's a gathering of these women who look pretty well to do in their very fancy chic pajamas and sunglasses. And um, yeah, it's kind of, I guess they're at someone's house or holiday retreat or something because it's like all these tropical plants and someone's got like a parrot and like a dog and there's flowers and stuff but yeah they're all there meeting for coffee and chilling out together I guess um, yeah so quite a fun puzzle and yeah I really like this sort of teal sea sea green kind of color that's like in the background and just looks really pretty so yeah, a bit of a different one, but I thought it just looked fun. So yeah, excited to do that one. And then I could not help myself. I saw this beautiful uh, Falcon Contemporary 1000 piece called the Marina, and it's just really bright and sort of like bright pastels and very colorful. And um, I recently did a video on another Falcon Contemporary puzzle, which I'll link up here. And that one was called like life in lockdown and i really enjoyed it i really liked the quality um like the piece fit was great and the artwork was really fun and like interesting and that's what i thought about this one i just thought it's, it's really cute really colorful lots of fun little things going on like lots of fun activities at the marina and cute hot air balloons um people in their boats and people shopping and doing all sorts of things so yeah, I just thought it looked really like it'd make for a fun puzzle to do. So yeah, definitely excited to do this one. Um, so I guess keep an eye out for it sometime. Don't know if I'm gonna do a video on this one since I did do a video on the other one, but it might just end up in my Instagram feed with a lot of other puzzles. But yeah, just really love this one. So glad I got a hold of that. And then we have a bunch here from Seiko. So Oh, what do I pick first? Uh, maybe these smaller ones. So I picked up this cute 550 piece one called Wild Whimsy. Okay, so this is the thing that bothers me with Seiko. They seem to have these series and this is called Wild Whimsy, but that's like the name of, there's like three in this series. Like this is a little underwater scene one, but there's like, I don't know, a forest one and something else. And they're all called Wild Whimsy, but they have a different name, but I can never find that name on the box i can only ever find like the series name so yeah on the bottom it shows like the the three in the series but so i don't actually know what this one's called but it's the ocean underwater one but yeah basically it's a really fun um detailed a very uh pretty uh like underwater scene sort of very um like has a lot of patterns in it so, you know, like you got your fish with the stripes and you got all these coral and each one's very patterny and even like, yeah, there's so many textures and patterns going on. So it's quite a busy little puzzle, but really cute. Like I love the way the fish are drawn and the jellyfish and everything's very, like there's a lot of whimsy and um, it's a very lighthearted sort of puzzle and really cute. So yeah, uh, interested to see what this one's like and. Maybe if I like this one, I might grab the other two. It's pretty inexpensive. And um, again, I saw it on someone's Instagram feed and thought that's a really nice puzzle. So yeah, I had a look for it and found it and grabbed it. So I am very tempted to get the other two, but I think this was my favorite in the series. So I thought we'll just um, hold back a little bit and just get this one for now. That's a lot of a restraint for me, I think. Anyway. <laughs> Um, and so another Seiko one, which is also like a series of, yeah, three, because there's like three on the bottom, is this 
really cute 1000 piece. So the series is called Birds and Blooms. And again, I'm sorry, I don't actually know the name of this one. I think it's like something bird houses from memory, but this, I actually got sent the wrong one. I actually ordered one of the others and this one turned up. I think they've got uh, here, it says Birds and Blooms Herbs, but that's actually one of the other ones. But I actually don't mind because I kind of want all three, like they're all really pretty and cute. So I actually think I like this design better than the one I ordered. It's just, it wasn't available when I ordered the other one. So I'm fine with this. <laughs> um, but I guess even the people at the sorting centers get confused by the Seco series names. Um, so yeah, basically it features sort of like these sort of two shelves of these really like adorable little little birdies with like little pink cheeks and all their little bird houses and blossoms and flowers and butterflies and things. Um, yeah, just very cute, like a lot of cute little details and um, yeah, I don't know. I don't often do puzzles with such sort of cutesy kind of cartoony birds, but I don't know. I just thought it was very cute. And I think I like, I'm drawn to like a lot of these sort of pastel-y pinks and blues in this puzzle series as well. Um, but yeah, just very pretty and a nice sort of piece count, 550. So yeah, I think that one will be a nice one to do. And then we have a big Seco one here. So I know it's not really the time of year, but I, I got a Christmas puzzle. Um, I hadn't seen this one before. So it's a 2000 piece, a perfect, perfect holiday. So it was a cute cat one and I had to get it. Um, basically it just, yeah, it's these cats having a lot of Christmas fun. Um, yeah, it's just got all these Christmas decorations. Um, I guess it's sort of, it looks like they're like in amongst a bookshelf that's been decorated with Christmas decorations and I know it's very like jam packed full of crazy details and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, very uh, fun looking cats and things and a lot of sort of cat puns like there's books here that says mouse and, and tuna catnip chronicles, um, cooking with catnip. Yeah, and then like cute little mice and sort of catty paraphernalia. but. So that's fun. So I don't know if I'm going to keep that one for Christmas or maybe Christmas in July or something like that. I'm not too sure, but you know, I just thought it was uh, yeah, a really fun one to have in the collection. And for a 2000 piece, the box isn't too big. So that's kind of nice. I, it does bother me when you get these 2000 pieces that have these ginormous boxes. So kind of like that Seco is trying like a bit like Buffalo keeping things kind of compact. So yeah, I don't know what the quality is going to be like on that. I have done a Seiko one before, like a 750 piece, and it was okay, like not the best quality, but held together okay. Um, but I'm being suckered in by like all the pretty images, so I hope I don't get too disappointed with the quality. I hope it sort of, you know, ends up being okay in all these puzzles. Um, anyway, so that's a yeah fun Christmas one to have, I think. And then this other Seiko one, of course I had to get it, but it is actually a Disney puzzle. So I think this is my third ever Disney puzzle. I better hurry up and do some, I guess. But the reason I was drawn to this one is it's an Amy Stewart one. So yeah, it's a 2000 piece Aladdin one and it's really pretty. Um, I think even if I didn't know that Amy Stewart th did this one, I probably might've been able to guess by her sort of quite distinct like colors and a lot of sort of details that you would see in a lot of her puzzles but yeah really really pretty i think she's done a great job of sort of joining together the disney style of the characters but into this beautiful sort of uh, background so yeah really pretty um so i did i did quite like aladdin growing up as a kid it was definitely a fun movie uh, i think my favorite was probably like you know, Beauty and the Beast or Little Mermaid, but I did enjoy Aladdin too. I remember going to the movies to watch it. Uh, that probably gives you a hint of how old I am. But anyway, yeah, I just thought she did a great job with this one and glad to have this one in my collection. Um, I think like if it wasn't her art style, I may not be as interested in it. In it. Um, but yeah, so glad that she got to do this one. And then the very last one this month of puzzles from Amazon, 
Don't worry, we still have some more puzzles to go after this. Um, this one is a beautiful Clementoni color boom. And I think, uh, when I find the name of it, is it, oh, it's just called Whirl because it's a whirl. Um, but it's, yeah, this sort of whirl, that's hard to say actually, a whirl pattern of like these beautiful rainbow flowers. So yeah, it's a bit of a different take on a rainbow gradient. Um, I'm planning to do a video on this one very soon, I think, because it looks just like a really fun time. And yeah, it's just really pretty. And I think it should be pretty simple to do. Um, but yeah, this one's been on my wish list since I saw these sort of color boom ones come out. So I think I have them all now, actually. Um, so yeah, really glad to get a hold of this one. I think it'll just be a good, fun gradient to do. And yeah, just very pretty with all the flowers. So yeah, definitely glad to have that one in my collection. So yeah, that's it from Amazon. There was a lot. Um, but now let's sort of have a look at some of the other puzzles I got for this month's haul. We're up to the final pile of puzzles for this haul. Um, so there's quite a mix of brands here and also uh, a variety of places that I got them from. So let's just go through the first three, which you might have already guessed where they're from. Yes, they are Wentworth. So I, after my first order, decided that I couldn't resist and put in a second order. So this one is the beautiful Jungle Jaguar 250 piece um, design. And it's just a really colorful, beautiful, like and very detailed kind of like mirrored image pattern of all these like very funky Jaguars and these sort of very uh, bright and vibrant sort of tropical plants and flowers. And I believe this one, I showed this one in my sort of 10 brands I want to try video, which I'll link up the top here uh, when I was sort of talking about wanting to try the brand. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad I got a hold of this one. Um, I decided to just get the smaller piece count because I figured with this sort of very like busy pattern, I think that might add a pretty good level of challenge. So um, yeah, I think this should be a really fun and just yeah, interesting puzzle to do. So looking forward to that one. And then the next one I grabbed, probably no surprise here, is the beautiful colorful mesh rainbow gradient puzzle. Um, I actually had my eye on this one for a while, like when I saw them come out with this uh, like sort of challenge series, or it's called, what is it? It's like extra difficult 258 pieces. So um, yeah, when I first saw them release these, I really wanted this one, but it seemed to have sold out. Um, so I actually grabbed the rainbow gradient water drop puzzle, which I actually did a video on. I'll link that up here too. Um, uh, yeah, so I quite enjoyed that puzzle and thought that was a really lovely image. And yeah, and then when I saw this came back in stock, I was like, oh, I better grab it. So I did. Um, yeah, so I think this one will be pretty tricky, just like the water drop one. It wasn't as straightforward as it looked at first glance. And yeah, I think this one should be really cool and fun to do. So yeah, definitely looking forward to it. And then I grabbed one of their new uh, spring collection puzzles. So this is actually a 500 piece one and it's called Cherry Blossom. And I just think it's absolutely stunning. It's just beautiful colors. Um, I'm not sure if you know, but I really love all things Japan. I studied, did Japanese studies at university. So uh, things that are Japanese really appeal to me. So this is like a Mount Fuji scene with cherry blossoms and the moon. And then it's got this sort of quirky element of these pink flamingos here. Um, no, uh, you don't usually see pink flamingos in front of Mount Fuji, but I thought these ones looked pretty, uh, pretty cool being there, just chilling out. So yeah, very pretty puzzle. I thought I'd grab this one in 500 piece just to make it a bit more challenging because it's actually quite a sort of simple image. There's not too much going on. It's a bit more minimal. So yeah, I think that should be a really lovely puzzle to do. So yeah, really excited that I grabbed this one. They have a lot of really nice ones in their current spring collection. It was very tempting to get a lot, but um, my bank account would not be happy about that. They're very, uh, they're quite expensive if you, didn't know so yeah had to be quite selective about the ones i wanted to get but yeah really happy with these three so looking forward to those and 
Then I grabbed another three puzzles from an Australian brand called Hinkler. And I actually picked these up at our Australian Kmart here, which stocks the Hinkler brand. Um, and these are all just 300 pieces and they're really very fun and colorful. Um, so this is part of their sort of mindful jigsaw series. So I guess it's just meant to be like, it's, it's not a kid's puzzle, it's sort of aimed at adults, but I guess it's just meant to be a fun, quick, relaxing puzzle an adult could do in like a short period of time. And this one's called Daisy Fields. And yeah, basically just all these very sort of 60s inspired, colorful daisy flowers and other blossoms and things. So yeah, I just thought it looked like, it's really, I, I really like the colors basically and the bold design and print. So I think that'll be a fun puzzle to put together. So yeah, and it was really inexpensive. I think they're like $5 each, so. Yeah, um, I don't know what the piece quality is going to be like because Hinkler puzzles seem to have reasonable piece quality, but um, I don't know what it'll be like in a 300 piece. And also these ones have a bit of different packaging than their other puzzles. These are more sort of just cardboardy, very simple packaging. So I don't know if the pieces are going to be like maybe not as good quality, but we'll see. But at least it's only a 300 piece. so. You know, I'm not too worried. Um, so anyway, this is another one from the series called Psychedelic Florals. And again, it's a very bright, bold design. This is a bit more of a sort of pastel color scheme, I guess. But yeah, I just thought this was really pretty as well. So yeah, definitely looking forward to doing this series. And then this is another one from the series. There's like a fourth one, but I wasn't as interested in the colors in that one. It was sort of like reds and browns, which didn't quite appeal to me that much. Um, this one's called Bright, Bold and Beautiful and pretty much sums up the image. It's just sort of this, yeah, this lady with glasses on and I don't know, looking very unbothered and cool and surrounded by all these very colorful kind of rainbow shapes and patterns and things going on. So yeah, quite kind of like abstract and yeah, kind of a pattern, so, but it looks like it, it'll be fun. So yeah, definitely glad I picked up those three. Um, and then we've only got a handful left and then we'll be done. So the next one I got is actually a Buffalo Games, but it's one that I swapped with a friend. Um, so I think that's kind of fun when you can like swap puzzles with other people and get to try puzzles that maybe you haven't had a chance to get or you know, it just saves you buying new puzzles all the, t all the time if you can like swap them with people. So this one's from the Vivid collection and it's called Wonderlust. And yeah, it's just all these, like these six squares and each one's sort of got a nice little, I guess sort of like an adventure scene. And they're like really bright, pretty colors. So there's like someone, I guess like on a motorcycle, on a road through like the mountains and someone like snorkeling and um, another snorkeling one and a hiking one. Yes, yeah, I, I like the sort of stylized um, sort of artwork as well. Like it's all very clean lines and a bit geometric and yeah, nice, bold, vibrant colors. So yeah, I thought that looked really fun. So I'm glad I was able to swap that with my friend. So yeah, I think that'll be a good one to do. And then uh, next up is a puzzle from a pretty new Australian brand called Slow Lane Society. And I think they've only got four puzzles out to start with. So this one's called Lone Pony by the artist Pony Gold and it's 1000 pieces. And it's just very pretty. Um, I guess I'll show, yeah. So basically this one sort of features this lovely starry gradient background. So I guess it's a nighttime scene and this lovely moon with the very sort of gentle face and yeah, just this horse sort of hanging out in the middle of this sort of desert amongst all these cactus plants. So yeah, there's a lot of details in this one, but um, yeah, all their images of their new puzzles were quite varied, um, but I this one just sort of appealed to me the most. I just like the colors and I like the art style. It's really pretty. So yeah, I'm really interested to try out this new puzzle company or this new brand. Um, they have some really nice fun artworks and um, what I've seen so far 
Uh, there's some sort of mixed reviews about the piece quality, but yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this out myself and seeing what my impression is. So hopefully I'll get to do this one fairly soon. Maybe I'm contemplating making a video about it, but I'm not too sure because it's Australian brand, it is, I think, difficult for people overseas, especially in like North America to get a hold of. So it may end up just going on Instagram. I'm not too sure yet, um, but either way, I'm looking forward to doing this one. And then we have a couple left. So this one, uh, I'm pretty sure you can guess why I picked this one up. So I only saw this one recently. I think it's fairly new and it's by the brand Treffle, which I have um, a good like chunk of puzzles from in my collection. And it's simply called Gradient. Um, yeah, to be fair, I don't think I've actually seen any other gradients by Treffle, at least not recently. And um, yeah, it just basically features this rainbow gradient, but it's sort of made up of all these like digital kind of like cubes being pushed out in this sort of swirly pattern. So thought it just looked fun and interesting. It was quite inexpensive as well. Um, so yeah, I just thought, why not? It just looks like a fun, simple, but slightly interesting rainbow gradient. So yeah, I think this is just a, Good one to add to the giant gradient collection. Why not? I figure So yeah, looking forward to that and then the very last puzzle that I uh, got this month is Well, I've just got the lid here because I'm actually working on it So I didn't want to pick up a box full of loose pieces So this one's called backyard and it's from cloudberries and this was actually kindly gifted to me by um, an Australian company or online Sort of website that sells puzzles and a few other bits and pieces but mostly puzzles called mind connect and they yeah really kindly sent me this one to try out so i'm currently doing this one and enjoying it it's quite tricky um, but it's a really pretty design of like basically it's got this beautiful blush pink sort of sky or wall and then it's essentially all these like someone's i guess patio this checker checkerboard tile patio of all these lovely like ferns and cacti and all sorts of plants with cute little pots so yeah I just thought that was a really pretty one to do um, kind of like lets me live vicariously through it because I'm terrible at keeping plants alive and gardening so this way I can pretend and you know live that hipster plant lady life through this puzzle instead so yeah definitely enjoying that one at the moment I just enjoy cloudberries so yeah really glad to have that one in the collection as well so that is it for the uh february haul though i think i don't know if that's the biggest haul yet but it's it's definitely up there um definitely like the most amount from amazon i think so i guess in the comments below let me know what you thought of this haul um have you done a lot of the ones that I got or are they on your wish list or did you grab them recently um, yeah or let me know what puzzles you're looking forward to getting a hold of soon and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all things puzzles and for even more content you can check me out over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore thanks so much and see you next time bye